Okay, this is uh, my first video, pretty much step one for building my Bluetooth uh, speaker. Um, I 45 beveled these. Six by seven, three quarters. Uh, that one is seven by thirteen and a half. This one says these are the front and the back. And this is the top. In the bottom it's one in inch deeper than it is uh, tall seven sorry it's not in focus thirteen and a half six same for this this is just six and six by seven Um, by six. I did these on a uh, on a table saw. Put a uh, a uh, leveling protractor magnetic one on the blade. Set it to 45 because I uh, didn't seem to be right by what the dial said on the uh, table saw. Um, I'm going to be putting a 4 inch mid bass driver right here. Tweeter, tweeter, both 1 inch. Uh, stereo, 2.1 amp, 15 watts, 8 ohms, 15 watts, 8 ohms, 30 on the uh, bass channel. Um, I've built some uh, crossovers, just some simple RC crossovers, uh, resistor, capacitor, 10 ohm resistors, and uh, I think a 6.2 and a 5.5 microfarad capacitor. Uh, that equals out to crossing the lows at 3,500 and uh, crossing the highs at 3,200. Um, that's the handle I'm going to be putting on the top of it. 1085. Let's see what I can show you. Uh, this is the battery. Nine amp hours. Not really any useful info, but. It's a sealed less lead acid battery. Here's the uh, the base woofer mid base. It's a Dayton audio woofer. Eight ohms, four inches, thirty watts. Here's the tweeters. I'm not going to be leaving that grill on there. I'm going to be taking it off. 15 watts. And then here's the amplifier. I'm going to be installing a uh, an inline. Uh, well, actually without having to open up the page that pops off for a uh, for the uh, single channel for the mono channel to the subwoofer for a potentiometer so you can control the bass separate from the master volume uh, 
got some quartered around over there just in the corner it's quarter inch and what I'm going to be doing with it it's 98 inches long I'm going to run it around the corner around the edge 45 it so they butt up and I'm going to be wrapping some vintage brown speaker a cloth around it to make a speaker drill and I'm going to be using it as blocks to uh, keep it to keep the box strong I'm going to be putting the battery right there filling it with polyfill another video to come soon I'm going to be wrapping it with some wood vinyl I didn't even think that I could have shown uh, some of the parts that I was going to use that's the speaker cloth I'll be using really doesn't show the color just some uh, brown speaker cloth those are the knobs master volume uh, base channel volume I'm actually going to be using that I know that's a good charger because I have one I'm going to be using it to power the Bluetooth uh, audio thing got two of those one is to turn it on and then one is in line between the battery and the uh, and the battery charger so uh, so I can control whether or not if I like uh, exit so I can leave the battery charger plugged in and not uh, interfere with the amplifier which I obviously won't do but just in case I turn it on standoffs for the speaker grill I'm going to be uh, putting that into the back into the underside of the quarter round and that goes into the box like right there maybe one in each corner or so um, what else I'm going to be using this gonna have to route out an area so I can put the, that that's gonna go on the back side and uh, for each uh, power switch I'm gonna probably put power switches right there DC in or I, I don't know I haven't decided that yet but I got to route it out because it's too thick probably route it out since this is three quarters route out a half an inch so there's a quarter of an inch maybe a little more now this is where this is where I use a little ingenuity I'm going to cut those off solder it to the battery cut that right there and solder a uh, 2.1 by 5 0.5 millimeter uh, jack, mill jack, so it plugs in to the back, the jack I just showed you, and then solder that to the jack. I'm still a little iffy on that. I don't really want that on there, but uh because it doesn't really match the style of going for like a vintage look but I don't want to kill my battery need to keep up with the uh, voltage I'm using the 10k on the uh, on the base channel and there's a buck step down 
transformer for the uh, Bluetooth module. And this is what I was trying to say. I'm going to be cutting off the uh, the wall, like the thing, that, the part that plugs into the wall into the socket, and soldering that on the end so it looks like I just have some cable. It's going to plug directly into the back. Into that. So it looks flush and fit and just like I bought it from the store. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. I really think that looks going to look really good. And let's see, I can show you what the... the wood's going to look like. Wood vinyl. I'm going to be putting polyfill in. what it'll look like on the outside. I think that'll look pretty fancy with that leather um, leather strap, the brown grill, and some dark brown feet. That'll look good. I hope. 